Hello everyone, this is Brooke and welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me today, I really appreciate it. In my last video, I promised that I would show my Tiffany haul of items that I purchased recently. Actually, in the month of May, I picked up three items that I want to show you. And I think I'll just go ahead and get started. They all come in these Tiffany blue boxes. And they came with the white ribbon, but I took the ribbons off of these and don't know what I did with them. So, but one still is a true unboxing. I have not seen this one since I bought it, so we'll do that one last because I'll just go in the order I bought them, and that means this one is first. And inside this Tiffany blue box, I have the pouch, and this guy I've been wanting forever. I wanted before I even knew of Tiffany and Co. was a really, you know, a really big thing. Um, I'll tell you the story. When I was at my mother's house one day, uh, my niece had left a ring on the coffee maker or something like that. And it was really pretty and unusual. And it caught my eye and I picked it up and wondered where it was from. And it had like T and then an and and CO on it. And I really wasn't, you know, putting in my head what that meant until later down the road I went to... Chicago went to Tiffany's and said oh that must have been a Tiffany and Co and I asked them if I could buy that ring and they said oh it's long been since retired so obviously I couldn't but I am a member right now of a collector group for Tiffany and Co and one of the members put up for sale this ring right here it is the square Tiffany and Co 1837 ring and it is gorgeous. I hope that it's doing it justice on my camera. It, there is, that is what it looks like. It has the T and Co on one side, and it is a perfect square, and it's very thick, solid metal, or sterling silver. And I've been wearing this pretty much every day since I got it. It looks like this on my finger and it's a perfect you know my ring is size 6 and when I saw that not only did this ring come up for sale but it was also my size I snapped it up so this is gorgeous and it is um, just what I always remembered and what I always wanted and I am so glad that I got it the next item I picked up was also a pre-owned it comes in this slightly larger tea and coal box because it is a little bit of a larger item. The, you see the pouch is a little larger as well. And inside here I have the 16 inch graduated bead necklace. So by graduated I mean it, they start small and they slowly get larger up to the largest bead here is 11 millimeters. I think the smallest is 6 millimeters but it's very pretty. It's 16 inches long. It's all sterling silver and the reason I really wanted that is because I already had the Tianco bead bracelet. Um, this one right here and I thought that it would be very nice on days when I'm trying to like dress up a little bit but not too much I think the silver goes casual or formal very easily and it fits very nice so when I'm wearing an open collar like this it can kinda of just peek through whatever I'm wearing and it sits up nice and high which I really like and so this is what it looks like like I said the largest bead in the middle is 11 millimeters the largest um, or the, all the beads in here are 10 millimeters so it kind of works together I think. Now since I had the bracelet and the necklace I also have the Tiffany and Company uh, dangle bead earrings but I was thinking that on a day where I I just wanted to be a little more casual than that I would get this item which is still in the you know wrapped up in the ribbon I bought it actually on my birthday in Northbrook Mall the same day I bought my Louis Vuitton item and my Christian Louboutin shoes I will link those videos below so that you can refresh your memory if you want to see all the damage I did on my birthday in May but I picked this one up because I just got the necklace and I wanted something to go with it so opening this You see it's the same box, the Tiffany blue box, and I'm hoping that it's the right item in here because like I said, I haven't seen this since I purchased it. 
and they wrapped up, they tied the pouch tightly for me. And inside here are the 10 millimeter bead earrings. And they look like this. I think they're very pretty. And I have not worn stud earrings um, in both ear holes. I have two. I have my diamond earrings that I wear in the back all the time. And then I usually wear something dangly in the front because I just like the dangle and the stud. But I figured that, you know, I see a lot of people who wear two studs. And this might look nice. And I tried it on in the store and I thought it looked pretty good. So I decided to get these. And I'll just put them on for you here so that I can show you what everything looks like this is what they look like together so I thought you know for days where I just wanted to wear this and have a little something peeking through my hair um, this would be good even if my hair was pulled back I thought that would be really nice but um, so this is what I did and I'll go ahead and put the other one on so these are the earrings um, I think they look really nice. Uh, I put picked these up because um, I again had the the bracelet and the necklace, and I wanted something else besides the dangle earrings that I the dangle um, bead earrings that I have to go with them. So that's pretty much it. That's all my haul and all the Tiffany items that I've picked up recently. So I hope you enjoy this video. I will be back soon with another one. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.